Hello everyone, it's Dove again. So I thought I would make a few more of my DIY money saving videos regarding doing repair work on your own stuff. I've already done a video about boot repair and also one on zipper repair and those two plus these that I'm getting ready to make they're all going to be in my DIY saving money playlist and I'll try to remember to put a link down in the description for that and so for these three videos there's more than likely just going to be three I want to go over mending using a needle and thread and so there's no glue, there's no zippers involved or anything like that. But this is more for like if you have a hole in your favorite pair of jeans or the hem of your pants starts to come unraveled, this is going to be geared more towards those kind of repairs. And so in this first one, I just wanted to go over the equipment and supplies that you would need to do emergency repairs. This is my normal sewing box that I've had for 20 plus years. This is not something that I think I'll be able to take in my rig with me because it's pretty big, if you can't tell. And everything that's in here, I wouldn't really need for emergency repairs. So I'm not quite sure that I can justify the space that this would take up. And, you know, I'll still keep it probably in my storage unit and everything, but. I don't know if it'll be in my rig. It's got a little built-in pin cushion here on top and a couple pockets that you can put things down in. It's got a removable tray and then in the bottom I have a lot of stuff. There's a lot. I've got a thread down in here. I've got regular scissors. I've got pinking shears. This is just a, a zipper plastic bag that I've reused to put all my spools of thread in. This is what I kind of planned on just having with me. This is what I'm going to take. I do have another case of thread that I've had for years. And it's, again, just a compilation, really big set here. And it's got pretty much all the different colors that you want. It's not even full. I could even add more than that. But I was not going to take this with me because honestly I don't I don't sew that much anymore that I would need all those different colors and everything. So I think I'm going to leave this here with my ex-husband. The sewing machine may actually stay here as well. But this is definitely going to be with me in some capacity, probably again my storage unit. And I've got a, a thread ripper, a seam ripper here. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to tell. There's a little tiny, this end is very pointy. It's as pointy as a needle. And that's what you would use to, to go in there and take the threads out if you needed to do needed to do that kind of repair and this is a thimble that I've had for a very long time it's nice it's a metal thimble and so you use this to keep the needles from hurting you <laughs> because sometimes you have to do repairs on leather or denim or canvas or something like that and so you would want a nice thimble like that and these are the needles that I had to buy when I was sewing the Velcro into the headliner of my rig. I was breaking needles left and right. Even the ones that said heavy duty, I was breaking them left and right. So I had to actually buy leather working needles. This is a tube of like 20. And I'll probably never go through all these, but this was the smallest amount I could get. And they are... Sorry about the focus. They're pretty long. They're a couple inches long. They're really heavy duty. And I was able to finish up that Velcro sewing without breaking a needle. I didn't, I've never bent one of these. It's never broken. The eye of it is pretty big. Sorry about the bad lighting. But the eye of it is probably three-eighths of an inch long. So it's really easy to thread these kind of needles. And I do recommend keeping these around if you think you're going to ever do any kind of repair on canvas or denim or leather or anything like that because you're really going to want something heavy duty like that. 
I've got a couple really big safety pins that I use when I like the the thing in your waistband the the tie if it comes out in the washing machine you got to thread it back through the waistband and so I use these really big safety pins I just put the end of the tie on it and then I can run this whole thing through the waistband and put the string back in there I will always keep one of those but again I'm not sure if I'm gonna be taking that on the road I'm probably gonna have something like this size this is a CD case but when you go onto Amazon and you type in sewing kit this is 80% of what you're gonna find is gonna be something like this it's just the canvas with the the zipper this is a CD case so instead of CDs you're gonna open it and you're gonna find a bunch of the the little straps the little webbing straps all along it and it will have a little tiny pair of scissors it'll have a seam ripper it will have probably a dozen spools of different color thread uh, it'll have a little tiny pair of scissors like this not like this because these are really nice but it'll be all metal scissors but it's about the same size typically that will fit in this and for this size of a sewing kit it's about five or six dollars but it has everything that you need to do basic emergency repairs it's going to have scissors a seam ripper a dozen spools of thread and a little case most of these sewing cases come with a little round plastic uh, container and it will have these embroidery thread embroidery needles and so they come in various sizes the the smallest one is basically like if you have lace or something that you would need to mend and then they have the bigger ones still not really adequate for denim and and leather but you can do most basic repairs with the with the needles that they give you in these kind of kits and so this is actually you know a size like this is about five dollars on Amazon and it's not much but it'll get you by and it's something that's very portable you can pretty much put it anywhere inside your rig and or inside your home like you don't even have to be a nomad to to be able to watch this video obviously but it's the very smallest basic sewing kit that you can get now if you want to spend more money and have even more options you can get one that's about three to four times bigger than this it's probably about thirty dollars but instead of having a little tiny pair of scissors like that it will have a normal pair like this not this brand this is Fiskars so this is way nicer than you're gonna get in a thirty dollar sewing kit but it's basically the same size so you can imagine if the scissors are that big you can imagine how big the the actual kit has to be and some of those come with 40 plus different colors of thread and for my purposes just for emergency repairs and everything I don't need all those different colors of thread so I would actually be okay with a smaller one like this one maybe twice as big but I definitely don't need that one that's got 40 or 50 different threads in it there's just no need for me to have that so this is a good value and it's something that can fit anywhere now in my bug out bag I have a bug out bag in addition to my bug out vehicle which basically every nomad is living in a bug out vehicle and so my bug out bag like if I ever have to leave my vehicle for whatever reason this is what I have in it this is Coglin. I'm not quite sure how to say it. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right Coglin, but this is the very very basic mending kit and this is actually about 20 years old and when I bought it it was probably 50 cents 75 cents very very cheap right now you can buy this at Amazon for two dollars so still very inexpensive and worth it like if you just want to have something just to make sure that you can do a repair this is definitely worth it the bag that I have it in this is something my mom made she was a seamstress and so she just sewed that up and put this little drawstring in it but you 
probably would want to have some kind of little toting bag for it because it you know it could pop open it's just a cheap plastic case like that and the closure is not that great so I do keep it in there but it's got that little that twin twin button thing and you pop it open this I added to it this is the smallest seam ripper that I had in my big sewing kit I had this little tiny one and I have a big one this barely barely fits and I have to put it at a diagonal in there but it does fit in there so I added this I also added in this little zipper bag full of safety pins so those did not come in the kit but I added them in and then the only other thing that I had to add was one of those big needles one of these just in case I had a heavy-duty repair that I had to do I did put one of these in here but they give you this little plastic thimble it's not as big as my metal thimble it doesn't fit quite as well like because the tip of my finger goes all the way to the end of the metal thimble and the tip of my finger is probably halfway through here but it's hard plastic and it'll do the job you know if if you have nothing else this will do the job I do really favor the metal thimble though and so they give you one of those and they put a little tape measure in there probably see that it's like coiled on itself I don't want to undo it right now but it's coiled onto itself and there's three little spools of thread in there there's red black and white and then they give you a blue one they're pretty small they're definitely not anywhere near this is a normal spool of thread so you can see the size difference right there this is what you would put in a sewing machine so they're not a lot it's not a lot of thread but it's enough to do an emergency repair and that's really all that matters and then they also usually will give you this little because that spool is plastic just like a regular spool of thread that's plastic but then they usually put this little cardboard tube in there and it's got several different colors of thread but it's it's wound on a little cardboard tube so again not you're not going to make a quilt or anything with these but it's enough thread to get you by for an emergency repair sorry my office chair keeps squeaking every time I move uh, and then they give you this little baggie and in it it has three it looks like three or four sewing needles it has two clear buttons and it has a couple straight pins and then it has this tool here it looks like a little dime but it's got an extension to it and on the very end of it is a wire and it's basically like a very thin diamond shaped wire and that's to help you thread your needle like if you have a problem with your eyesight or sometimes the 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 eye hole is just so small that you cannot really get the thread through it it's very hard so that's what that little tool is for so again two dollars on Amazon it's not a big investment and it's something that will get you by I don't like the scissors these are super cheap super tiny really cheap I'm not even sure I could cut thread with them I do not like these the set that they're selling now it does look like they have improved their scissors it doesn't look like they're quite as bad as these I mean I wouldn't bet my life on it I would still have a knife or something that I could cut thread with because I'm not even sure that those are sharp enough to cut thread but they give you a token pair of scissors anyways to make you happy I guess <laughs> and then again it just you can kind of shove it in there and it barely closes but it's just something good to have it oh and I think I just broke it <laughs> okay so maybe it's not a good idea to put a seam ripper in there because that's kind of busting out the seams I've had it in there for a while but apparently oh okay I just broke it <laughs> okay 
Well, I cannot recommend the little Coughlin sewing kit, but Singer, Singer has a, an emergency kit. It's pretty big. It's probably like half the size of this, you know, and it basically has all of this. And I think it was $7. So whatever. I really, unless you're just totally strapped for space and you need it like just in a pinch. Now I don't know what to do because I had this in my bug out bag and I just broke it. I don't know if I can kind of. Yeah, there it closed. I might still be able to keep that. But the case is very fragile. So you got to have to be really careful with that. So all in all, I would definitely recommend having a bigger case. This is a sewing kit that I bought from the Grand Canyon when I was there quite a few years ago. It's kind of more of a novelty, but it does still have some stuff in it. It's got a little needle threader up here in this top part. I don't know if you can tell that, that th the the wire on there is just really thin and that's what enables it to go through the eye of the needle so easily so it's got that and it has some thread in it and it has a couple safety pins and a couple buttons but it doesn't look like it has any sewing needles and it doesn't have any scissors but look at the thread the spools of thread on that those are super tiny super tiny probably like half the size of the spools of thread that they come that comes in this thing but whatever it was just cute and I think I bought it more for the novelty <laughs> to be perfectly honest but more than anything I think if I was if I was going to buy a, a repair kit just that I felt that was sturdy and would go a long way and still be able to fit in my backpack I think I would get one of these which is again about five dollars six dollars on Amazon and it has all the basics you need and you really can't go wrong with that price point you know it, the scissors again the scissors might not be the greatest but you know you should always have some kind of other form of way of cutting when you're on the road and when you're doing a like a survival kind of situation or anything like that you want to have a knife a very sharp knife so that in the very end you can still cut your thread with a knife and uh, I think that was it hopefully I've tried to film this I don't know how many times so if I miss something I apologize and it will probably go into the editing part of the video alright guys I will see you in the next video Bye.